In this video, we're going to learn how to use some standard Java command lines such as Java C and Java. And also, we'll run into an issue that's going to force us to set our JDK path in order to get these commands to work. So you can start the command line by typing CMD in the Windows search. And on a MacBook, you could always go to the terminal application and type the same commands. And to compile a Java program on the command line, you use the Java C command, and it looks like this. It's the word Java C, space, and the name of your Java class, hello world, with the .java extension. And then to compile a Java program on the command line, you use the Java command, which is just the word Java, space, and the name of your class without any extension. So Java, space, hello world. And if these commands don't work, then you'll need to add JDK to your path in your Windows environment variables. So let's try that out. So after installing the JDK, you should have everything that you need to start building Java applications. You can build a Java application just using Notepad. So I can right click and say new text document. And I can just call this thing hello world.java. Change it, make sure it has a .java extension. And I'm gonna open it up. Here's Notepad. So to write the hello world program, it starts off like this, public, class, and the name of the file without the .java extension, which is hello world. Make sure that the class name matches the file name and that it starts with an uppercase letter and every additional word also starts with an uppercase letter. Add a curly brace to the end of that header, the class header, and a closing curly brace. And in the middle, we're going to write what's called a main method, public static void main string empty square brackets arg and this public static void main line of code is the most important line of code in Java programming this is the entry point of your Java program if you want an executable Java program it has to have a main method so it knows where to start and we're just gonna have one statement in there that says system dot out dot print ln stands for print line hello world. It's going to print hello world to the screen. and That's all this program is going to do and make sure that you end it with a semicolon. And click file and save. And you can go ahead and close this file. So we're going to start the command prompt by typing cmd in the Windows search. And then to type cd desktop to go to my desktop where that hello world file is located. And just to verify that Java has been installed you can type Java space dash version and it says okay Java version 1.8 that's Java version 8. Java has been installed and so let's see if we can actually compile our Java program on the command line by typing Java C which is the Java compile command the name of the class hello world dot Java and it says Java C is not recognized as an internal or external command operable program or batch file if you get this message, that means that you need to add the JDK to your environment path variable. This is what you need to do. First, find the location of where the JDK was installed. And if you remembered during the installation process, it put it in program files slash Java. And there's the JDK directory. And inside there, there is the bin directory, which guess what contains this Java C command that we were trying to execute on the command line. So select up in the location bar, select the entire path of the bin directory, and then copy it by control C or just right click and copy that entire path. Highlight it first, right click, copy, and then I'm going to start my control panel by typing control panel in the search. Start the control panel and once you have the control panel open, select system and security, then select system, select advanced system settings, then select environment variables on the bottom. And there's two sections, user variables and system variables. So in the system variables, find the path system variable, select edit. And then what we're going to do now is click new to add a new entry and control V or right click and paste that path right there and then click OK. 
Click OK again. You can just basically close all these screens. And we're back here again. Let's try it again. And it still doesn't work. That doesn't mean it didn't work. That means you should restart the command prompt window. So type exit to exit out of it. Start it back up by typing CMD again. And I'm going to type the command Java C to compile hello world.java. And what compile does is it takes this program that you wrote, your source code, and it converts it into bytecode, which is a dot class file. And if you noticed in the background, this file just appeared, this hello world, and it looks like it says ass on the bottom, but it's really hello world dot class. That's the name of the file that we're going to run. And we run this file by typing java space hello world. Press enter and there is the output to your program and now the JDK has been successfully installed and we have it added to the path environment variables and we're able to compile and run Java programs on the command line. And also I wanted to show you something else. So I'm going to delete this class file and if you delete it you can't obviously you can't run the program again. You can't find or load the main class hello world. That's because you can only run dot class files and you can create them with the dot java file but if you had a mistake in your dot java file like, like you're missing a semicolon for example the one that I just deleted and then you try to compile the java program on the command line it gives you an error and says you're missing a semicolon but notice that it did not create the dot class file it only creates the dot class file if you have zero errors on the compiler once you have you get rid of all the errors that's when it that's the only time when it creates the dot class file. So add the semicolon back in there. Recompile it. Every time you make a change, you'll need to recompile it before you test it out. And now I got no errors, and the hello world dot class file is there again. It just showed up again. And just to make sure that it works. By the way, on command prompt, you can just type up, and it just goes back to some of your previous commands that you type so you don't have to type them over again. And also you can just start typing a word and press tab and it'll auto complete it for you. But make sure you don't have the dot class extension when you're running the program or it's not going to work. So just hello world, name of the class, that's it. Click press enter and it runs. And that's all.